Welcome to this episode of Dread Captures, the ultimate destination for those who seek the thrill of witnessing the unexplained. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the most compelling and jaw-dropping camera footage we can find. Trail cameras, security cameras, and other recording devices can capture events that occur when no one is around. Sightings of wild animals, cryptids, paranormal activity, mysterious creatures lurking in the shadows to strange phenomena that defy explanation. We have it all. Our team of experts scours the internet and beyond to bring you the latest and greatest in the world of wildlife and the unknown. So whether you're a seasoned cryptozoologist, a veteran outdoorsman, or just a curious viewer, buckle up and get ready for an adventure like no other. Now, let's get into the captures. A video posted by the channel Long Island Bigfoot reportedly shows a Bigfoot toughing out a snowstorm in the woods near a trail. As you'll see, the visibility isn't great, and honestly, I just can't see it, but I feel like I'm in the minority. All of the commenters on the video are like, amazing, awesome capture, incredible, unreal. But I'm having a hard time. I mean, I can kind of see something moving around through the snow and trees, almost directly in the middle of the screen, but in my opinion, it could be anything. However, I'm not the professional with the trained eye, so take that for what it's worth. And plus, my eyes were basically crossed. I watched this video so many times. Anyhow, the OP said he went and checked the area after he confirmed the Bigfoot had left, and there were downed trees blocking the trailhead that looked like they had been purposely put there. I doubt someone would be out there doing that in that weather. Recently, in an undisclosed area of the Canadian woods, an incredible and terrifying sight was captured by a trail camera on a dark and snowy night. With trail cams, we can now witness the thrill of seeing these fearsome creatures up close, without any of the dangers typically involved and certainly not something one would want to stumble upon during a hike. More often than not, trail cameras capture fleeting images of a lone wolf, maybe two, silently traversing the wilderness. Rarely do we get the chance to witness an entire pack going about their business out in the untamed wild. Luckily, someone managed to capture this amazing, magical moment in this footage. More than a dozen very, very large wolves can be seen in this footage, carefully and purposefully trekking through the white snow in a perfect line. These wolves are likely part of a very large pack that is hiding somewhere else, as these are all big adult specimens that are probably on or in the middle of a hunt. It's amazing to watch them on the move. Despite the thick, crunchy snow and all the brush around them, the impressive pack moves silently through the night, making barely any noise. This is truly a special and breathtaking sight, and I pity whomever they have their sights locked in on. After hearing rumors of a massive mountain lion roaming his area, a man decided he might try to lure him in. He set up one of his trail cameras and strung up a bait bag. The bait bag consisted of old meat trimmings that he knew for sure would attract any wild animals in the area. But what showed up wasn't what he bargained for. A person came into view. The owner of the video mentioned that the creepiest part of all of this is that his home is located in a very remote location. From the looks of it, this person looks homeless, but that's all I can really tell from the video. Of course, it could be a hoax. Anyhow, let me know what you guys think about this one. This clip here is rather eerie. Owners of an abandoned property set up a trail camera with views directly on this small bridge, the only way in or out. They set up the camera after a rather traumatic situation had occurred between some kids a few weeks before. But this week, what the trail camera captures is equally disturbing. 
some type of creature has jumped slash fallen off this ledge and into the water. What the heck is that thing? The original uploader mentioned it being a ghost. Eh, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I see a tail swimming. Kinda looks like a mini alligator. And is that face just photoshopped on there? I don't know, maybe I'm just seeing it wrong or I'm missing something. I feel like this is someone trying to make a normal creature into something it isn't. But with that being said, I can't even make out what the normal animal should be. Let me know if you guys can figure this one out. In October of 2021, a Redditor using the username Love is Evil Xanax shared two photographs taken from a trail camera. The caption explained that the camera was set up at the Redditor's grandparents' abandoned house, where strange occurrences had been reported. The camera takes three photos when motion is detected, and the strange humanoid figure in the photograph happens to only appear in one of the three pictures. This has led to much debate among users about the identity of the figure, with some even suggesting that it may be a ghost or some other supernatural entity. The Redditor went on to provide more information about the location of the house, which is allegedly near a Native American burial ground. The Redditor's uncle, who had set up the camera, had experienced other strange occurrences in the past, such as seeing animals or dark figures in unusual places. The Redditor and their father had also experienced something strange just days before the photograph was taken. They actually heard three loud stomps in the woods near the location of the camera, but could never figure out where they came from. The mystery of the photograph and the strange occurrences has captured the imagination of many users. Most have suggested a range of theories about the identity of the figure, including ghosts, time travelers, and aliens. However, as of yet, there is no concrete evidence to support any of these theories. Nevertheless, the photograph has reignited interest in the debate about the existence of the paranormal. What do you guys think this could be? Has anyone seen this creepy video? It was published by the Athens, Georgia Public Utilities Department. While filming a promo video to explain the destructive effects of foreign objects in the sewer system. However, as the camera moves through the drain, it seems to capture something rather startling. What looks like a hand reaches up towards the camera's lens. To this day, the Public Utilities Department has no way of explaining this eerie hand. Some viewers think it's some sort of mutant creature. Others are listing it as a simple bullfrog. I'll let you be the judge. On October 19, 2019, Reddit user Native Meraki discovered an eerie photo on his trail camera. The camera was located on his remote five-acre property, and the photo depicted a woman in a long white dress walking through that property. She was dressed in period clothing with a featureless and transparent head. A creepy fact is that the previous owner's ashes had been spread on this property, leading some of the family to speculate that the apparition could be that of the previous owner. While the true nature of the image is unknown, it has left a lasting impression on this family and community, with many wondering if it is a genuine ghost caught on camera. But if it's not, who is the lady in the white dress? One of the strangest phenomena regularly captured by trail cams are inexplicable floating orbs, which appear in the next few clips. And we are no closer to solving this mystery now than when it was first captured on trail cameras. Some believe it might be an alien apparition or a ghoulish floating light, while skeptics try to explain the orbs away as dust particles or bugs. However, when the footage is compared and analyzed, 
Scientists are still stumped as to what could be causing these floating lights. These orbs are one of the most puzzling and strange trail cam mysteries that we have still not been able to crack. The shining orbs immediately catch your eye, and their perfect shape and strange movement make it hard to see how bugs could be responsible for these obscure lights. Many wonder if there are more out there, and we just don't catch them because they're not on camera. We see the ones that are on trail cameras because the animal has triggered the photo or the video. Maybe these orbs are all around us. This cool footage caught on a farmer's trail camera shows a fox enjoying his front row seat to a badger fight. The badgers appear unaware that the fox is even there. They're so caught up in their tussle. And the fox seems intent on watching the brawl and no intention of moving. This is some of the most up close and personal cam footage we have seen. And it's unique moments like this that make trail cameras so awesome. The encounter also shows how the apparent personalities of animals can be when they are caught in candid moments like these. The encounter also shows the personalities of different animals, especially when they are caught in candid moments like these. This is a pretty scary encounter caught on camera here. A 20-something daughter was house-sitting for her parents when they went out of town. Their house is in the woods with not many neighbors, but also not completely desolate. Nevertheless, they installed cameras for when their daughter isn't available to house sit. A few outside and one in the home. On the second day the daughter was there while she was out working, after her shift she noticed she had some missed calls from her mom, and later a text message. Well, the text message was actually a video. And here's what it showed. Out of nowhere, a huge black bear jumps down into the living room, which is completely insane. He looks so comfortable. And even when he puts his paws on the piano and it makes a noise, he isn't even startled. Listen to this. He didn't flinch or anything. He didn't get scared from the huge noise that it made or anything. The bear didn't even flinch or get scared from the noise. No one could believe it was real. However, the daughter did begin to realize that if she had been home only 20 minutes earlier, she could have walked in and the bear could have been there. Seeing the video really made it hit home to her about how dangerous this situation really was. The American black bear can weigh up to 550 pounds and may attack if surprised. They might not necessarily seek out confrontation, but if he felt startled and trapped and viewed her as a threat, things could have ended very badly. Man, what a crazy video. Seriously, what if she would have been home, relaxing on the couch or taking a midday nap? It's a scary thought to think about, but I'm just glad everyone is okay. On August 16th of 2021, Reddit user Typhius Oz shared a photograph captured on a remote property in Sweden, depicting a strange black figure standing near a feeding station. The figure appears to be oblong in shape with small legs and feet. While several additional images of the area were shared by the uploader to show it in both daylight and at night, none of those photos featured the mysterious black shape. The figure has prompted speculation from many, with some suggesting it could be Pesta, a deadly icon from Scandinavian folklore. Pesta is often depicted as a haggard old woman dressed in black, carrying a broom or rake. She roams the countryside spreading disease and death. While it seems unlikely that the figure in the trail cam photo is Pesta, as the typical depiction of Pesta is an old woman. The photo remains a mystery and has people both fascinated and terrified of the unknown. Michael has compiled almost 45 minutes of video into this clip and I suggest you go check out his channel and watch it. 
I only pulled a few pieces that I thought were interesting, but you can see all sorts of animals. Deer, squirrels, hogs, armadillos, coyotes, possums, birds, etc. We featured him on this channel before and he has awesome footage. It really is just incredible to see how many different animals frequent this wallowing hole. It's fascinating. They all come at different times too. Anyhow, check his channel out. He has an amazing spot right here. As the old adage goes, forests are believed to be inhabited by werewolves and witches who emerge at night. However, it seems that one of these malevolent entities has chosen to reveal itself during daylight hours. This video, shot at an undisclosed location, captures a car driving through an orchard of some sort, when the driver spots a peculiar creature on the side of the road. Initially identified as a small animal, the creature is soon revealed to be a small, faceless figure crouched and or eating something. The creature quickly scurries away upon seeing the car approach. Is this truly a little creature? Or just a fabricated hoax? What do you guys think? I will say this. One commenter said that this was just a skunk. And the more and more I watch it, the more I'm inclined to think they are right. 
the body of the supposed creature running away might just be the tail of the skunk, even though the tail looks huge. I don't know, I'm definitely interested in your thoughts on this one. In this awesome clip, we see a mountain lion after a coyote. So the first picture is of the mountain lion as she comes around the corner after the coyote. You can kind of see the tail of the coyote off the left of the screen. The trail camera didn't pick it up until it was too late. The other angle we'll see is the coyote just drinking from the watering hole. You can tell he's very wary of what's going on. As the coyote nips the water, the mountain lion approaches from behind. He takes off and you can see the cloud of dust as the lion and coyote scuffle. This is a tough matchup for the coyote. The mountain lion is an assassin, an apex predator, and the coyote, while tough, gains most of his strength from the pack. He can't stand toe to toe with a massive predator like the mountain lion. His best bet is to try to flee and not get caught, which unfortunately does not happen today. Another amazing video here, but don't worry, this one has a happy ending. Pay attention to the right side of your screen. This is just unbelievable. Look at the deer battling. Such resilience. And she gets away. It's just crazy. This is probably one of the most amazing clips I've seen. A man fishing in Canada had been watching two adult bald eagles perched atop a tree near their nest. Well, somehow a bear noticed them also. And the next thing you know, this massive black bear is scaling up this tree. Mom and dad leave the nest and are squawking and trying multiple swooping flybys trying to dissuade the bear from advancing any further. But unfortunately that doesn't happen and the bear keeps going. The man says this went on for a solid 15 minutes until the bear reached the top and pulled a rather large sized eaglet out of the tree and brings him to the ground. While this is an amazing camera capture and seems out of the ordinary, I would bet this is more common than we might think. Bears are great climbers. We know they love to eat. And frankly, they have nothing to worry about in regards to predators. Nevertheless, amazing footage. And I know that guy was happy that that water was in between he and the bear. Coming across a big cat like this mountain lion in the woods would be pretty terrifying and something you would not soon forget, unless you never knew in the first place. In this picture, you can see the man smiling, very happy, because he had a successful hunt on this huge deer, and now he's gonna get his buddy to take a picture of him with it. However, only when the flash goes off, does the picture reveal what is lurking behind him. Look at that, the lion's eyes shining as she watches him. We only have this one picture. We don't know if the lion was already hiding in the bushes because the deer had fallen there, or if the lion had been stalking the man, waiting to attack. Now, at the end of the day, I don't imagine the lion is that picky. I think he'd eat either one of them. But seeing this picture must have made this man's heart drop. When interviewed later, the man said he heard a ruckus in the bushes. Unbeknownst to him, most likely this lion 
was chasing and catching some other prey very nearby. Man, it would have been amazing to capture that on camera too. Anyhow, what an amazing deer and an awesome keepsake to have in this picture. A trail cam installed in the woods of Michigan State in September 2016 captured something spooky. Initially, everything was fine. The camera filmed adorable moments of tiny eaglets in their nest. But suddenly, a black bipedal creature appeared from behind a tree below the nest and walked away. Due to the blurred image, it's difficult to identify the creature. However, many people believe it was a Bigfoot. There have been numerous sightings of Bigfoot reported over the years and this recent incident has only added fuel to the fire. Naysayers will say there's a lack of concrete evidence, but Bigfoot continues to captivate the thoughts of people around the world. What do you guys think? Was this a Bigfoot? If it's not, it's quite the elaborate hoax. Okay, so someone would have to know that the camera was there. Someone would have to get a Bigfoot suit. They would have to walk within the range of the camera, be picked up on film, and then hope someone even notices them. And then what? I mean, you guys saw how small the image was on the camera. It was barely picked up. How many times might someone have to do something like this before they're even noticed? It seems like a lot of work for nothing. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I know this video has been floating around forever. Just a great video of mountain lion cubs here. It is rare to see mountain lion cubs in the wild, and trail camera footage is really one of the only ways you get to see them. It's definitely the safest, that's for sure. Because if you see mountain lion cubs, I hope you have some protection because mom is very, very close by. The cubs are born with spots to help them blend in and provide camouflage from other predators. Just really cool footage here. This video may be one of the rarest, as it captures an incredibly shocking moment. It begins with a wild boar walking normally, and the trail camera is doing precisely what it's designed to do, record the footage. However, within a matter of seconds, the scene takes a dramatic turn. Out of nowhere, the animal collapses to the ground and struggles to stand back up. Suddenly, its body begins to tremble and its legs shake violently. And watch this. A plume of black smoke emerges from its body and then it becomes still. According to the person who owns the trail camera, unfortunately, the animal was later found dead in the same area. Okay, now I'm really perplexed about this. What the heck happened here? Someone said his soul left his body. I don't think so. Could he have been shot and then somehow the gases inside of him are coming out? Seriously, what could this be? This next video shows us something completely off the wall. A bunch of birds were flying high and suddenly they fell quickly and forcefully to the ground. Now I've seen this clip a bunch of times, like most of you probably have, but this is still unlike anything I've ever seen before that. Some of the birds got up and flew away, but others didn't move and seemed to have died in the crash down to earth. 
Later on, it was confirmed that some of the birds did die in the collision. So my question, what would make this flock of birds crash into the ground in such a way that some would die? I feel like I need to know. <laughs> I almost didn't put this video in this series because like I said, I figured most people have seen it, but then I thought, the viewers of this channel are smart. Someone will know something. I have scoured through the comments of other videos and I have yet to see a good explanation for this. So please let me know what you think happened here. A strange video captured by a trail camera has gained widespread attention after it allegedly shows a spooky figure in a forested, undisclosed location. The footage starts off pretty normal, but then a strange creature enters the frame from the left side, crawling on all fours. This eerie creature appears to be lumbering through the woods like a large, bulky animal. However, its behavior, specifically the way it stops and looks around, does not match any known animal traits from this area, or in general really. As the video was captured from a distance, it's difficult to make out the exact nature of the creature. Nevertheless, many people are speculating that it might be the infamous and terrifying creature known as the Rake. Let's think about this. Imagine you set up a trail camera to catch the predator that is eating your livestock and you capture this footage. A humanoid creature creeping through the back of your property, heading straight for the barns. First of all, what is this thing? It's obviously walking on two feet but it doesn't move like a human. Even if it is a camera glitch, making the thing translucent, I can't think of anything else that moves that way. As we watch it again in slow motion, you can see that its eyes are glowing too. Man, this is pretty wild. I'd love to know what this could be. Now I've seen a few of these videos online, but this one is actually pretty funny. Someone has hung a mirror in the woods and set up a trail camera to capture this bear's reaction. And you can tell that the bear 100% thinks there's another bear in front of him. He checks behind the mirror and then eventually rips it down. As we watch it again, you can see the bear getting more agitated and becoming more aggressive. Anyhow, just a cool thing to capture on camera. This next Bigfoot video is taken in southeast Oklahoma. Now, most of Oklahoma is just flat land but the southeast portion is heavily wooded and an area that could easily be home to Bigfoot. The Bigfoot Researchers Organization has traveled out there to conduct an investigation into a potential Bigfoot caught on camera. They are hoping their recreation will shed some light onto the validity of this video. The video in question was taken in 2011. It involves two kids who are filming a video to teach viewers how to cook the best s'mores. You can see them going along giving direction, and in the background, someone or something runs by. The boys are none the wiser, they don't react to the creature. In fact, it wasn't until two days later that they even noticed the creature in the background of the video. Two of the members of the BFRO really believe this is a Bigfoot, while another one remains skeptical. And this may not be a Bigfoot, but I have to agree that the boys' body languages and demeanors seem genuine. 
And I don't think they had anything to do with creating a hoax, if this is what it turns out to be. After the recreation, the more skeptical BFRO member explains that this creature is of human size and human height, and there is no definitive evidence at all that this is a Bigfoot and not just a regular person. She goes on to explain that there are houses in the general vicinity and someone could be easily running in the tree line. And furthermore, and a bit damning if you ask me, is that this town has a history of Bigfoot. There is a Bigfoot gift shop and even a festival each year celebrating the creature. She makes an interesting comment saying, quote, is this an example of the evidence creating the myth? or the myth creating the evidence. The believers counter that it was 114 degrees that day. No one would be running in a Bigfoot suit in that temperature. They really feel that the kids and father are not involved, and southeast Oklahoma is a Bigfoot hotbed, with multiple sightings each year. Anyhow, both sides put up a nice argument. Let me know what you guys think. I do believe that the kids most likely didn't have anything to do with the figure, but I just don't know. This next camera capture is a badger just minding its own business when two coyotes start to gang up on it. However, the badger here isn't going down without a fight. He's able to even the playing field by moving into the sticks where the coyotes can't move around as well. Eventually, these guys give up, realizing this isn't worth it. In May of 2015, a mushroom hunter is recording himself on a routine hunt in the northern Illinois forest, when he is blown away by a startling sound coming from somewhere nearby. The hunter has never heard anything like that and pans his camera back and forth around the woods to see if he can spot anything, but he sees nothing. I think it's time to go. Let me know what you guys think about this clip. This is just an incredible video. We see this guy trying to feed a bald eagle. Just watch. This guy is incredibly lucky. The eagle's talons could have really messed this guy's hands up. In Mount Baker National Forest, some tourists were lucky enough to capture this round and round between a small and very quick squirrel and a pine marten. The pine marten looks like a full-size squirrel, but that's just how much bigger than he really is than this squirrel. This is a great compilation of cats catching birds. The third one is my personal favorite. But look how unbelievably athletic and agile these cats are. It's impressive.
A video posted by the channel Long Island Bigfoot reportedly shows a Bigfoot toughing out a snowstorm in the woods near a trail. As you'll see, the visibility isn't great. And honestly, I just can't see it. But I feel like I'm in the minority. All of the commenters on the video are like, amazing, awesome capture, incredible, unreal. But I'm having a hard time. I mean, I can kind of see something moving around through the snow and trees, almost directly in the middle of the screen. But in my opinion, it could be anything. However, I'm not the professional with the trained eye. So take that for what it's worth. And plus, my eyes were basically crossed. I watched this video so many times. Anyhow, the OP said he went and checked the area after he confirmed the Bigfoot had left. And there were downed trees blocking the trailhead that looked like they had been purposely put there. I doubt someone would be out there doing that in that weather. Recently, in an undisclosed area of the Canadian woods, an incredible and terrifying sight was captured by a trail camera on a dark and snowy night. With trail cams, we can now witness the thrill of seeing these fearsome creatures up close, without any of the dangers typically involved and certainly not something one would want to stumble upon during a hike. More often than not, trail cameras capture fleeting images of a lone wolf, maybe two, silently traversing the wilderness. Rarely do we get the chance to witness an entire pack going about their business out in the untamed wild. Luckily, someone managed to capture this amazing, magical moment in this footage. More than a dozen very, very large wolves can be seen in this footage, carefully and purposefully trekking through the white snow in a perfect line. These wolves are likely part of a very large pack that is hiding somewhere else, as these are all big adult specimens that are probably on or in the middle of a hunt. It's amazing to watch them on the move. Despite the thick, crunchy snow and all the brush around them, the impressive pack moves silently through the night, making barely any noise. This is truly a special and breathtaking sight, and I pity whomever they have their sights locked in on. After hearing rumors of a massive mountain lion roaming his area, a man decided he might try to lure him in. He set up one of his trail cameras and strung up a bait bag. The bait bag consisted of old meat trimmings that he knew for sure would attract any wild animals in the area. But what showed up wasn't what he bargained for. A person came into view. The owner of the video mentioned that the creepiest part of all of this is that his home is located in a very remote location. From the looks of it, this person looks homeless, but that's all I can really tell from the video. Of course, it could be a hoax. Anyhow, let me know what you guys think about this one. This clip here is rather eerie. Owners of an abandoned property set up a trail camera with views directly on this small bridge, the only way in or out. They set up the camera after a rather traumatic situation had occurred between some kids a few weeks before. But this week, what the trail camera captures is equally disturbing. Some type of creature has jumped slash fallen off this ledge and into the water. What the heck is that thing? The original uploader mentioned it being a ghost. Eh, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I see a tail swimming. Kinda looks like a mini alligator. And is that face just photoshopped on there? I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing it wrong or I'm missing something. I feel like this is someone trying to make a normal creature into something it isn't. But with that being said, I can't even make out what the normal animal should be. Let me know if you guys can figure this one out. In October of 2021, a Redditor using the username Love is Evil Xanax 
shared two photographs taken from a trail camera. The caption explained that the camera was set up at the Redditor's grandparents' abandoned house, where strange occurrences had been reported. The camera takes three photos when motion is detected, and the strange humanoid figure in the photograph happens to only appear in one of the three pictures. This has led to much debate among users about the identity of the figure, with some even suggesting that it may be a ghost or some other supernatural entity. The Redditor went on to provide more information about the location of the house, which is allegedly near a Native American burial ground. The Redditor's uncle, who had set up the camera, had experienced other strange occurrences in the past, such as seeing animals or dark figures in unusual places. The Redditor and their father had also experienced something strange just days before the photograph was taken. They actually heard three loud stomps in the woods near the location of the camera, but could never figure out where they came from. The mystery of the photograph and the strange occurrences has captured the imagination of many users. Most have suggested a range of theories about the identity of the figure, including ghosts, time travelers, and aliens. However, as of yet, there is no concrete evidence to support any of these theories. Nevertheless, the photograph has reignited interest in the debate about the existence of the paranormal. What do you guys think this could be? Has anyone seen this creepy video? It was published by the Athens, Georgia Public Utilities Department. While filming a promo video to explain the destructive effects of foreign objects in the sewer system, However, as the camera moves through the drain, it seems to capture something rather startling. What looks like a hand reaches up towards the camera's lens. To this day, the Public Utilities Department has no way of explaining this eerie hand. Some viewers think it's some sort of mutant creature. Others are listing it as a simple bullfrog. I'll let you be the judge. On October 19, 2019, Reddit user Native Meraki discovered an eerie photo on his trail camera. The camera was located on his remote five-acre property, and the photo depicted a woman in a long white dress walking through that property. She was dressed in period clothing with a featureless and transparent head. A creepy fact is that the previous owner's ashes had been spread on this property, leading some of the family to speculate that the apparition could be that of the previous owner. While the true nature of the image is unknown, it has left a lasting impression on this family and community, with many wondering if it is a genuine ghost caught on camera. But if it's not, who is the lady in the white dress? One of the strangest phenomena regularly captured by trail cams are inexplicable floating orbs, which appear in the next few clips. And we are no closer to solving this mystery now than when it was first captured on trail cameras. Some believe it might be an alien apparition or a ghoulish floating light, while skeptics try to explain the orbs away as dust particles or bugs. However, when the footage is compared and analyzed, scientists are still stumped as to what could be causing these floating lights. These orbs are one of the most puzzling and strange trail cam mysteries that we have still not been able to crack. The shining orbs immediately catch your eye, and their perfect shape and strange movement make it hard to see how bugs could be responsible for these obscure lights. Many wonder if there are more out there, and we just don't catch them because they're not on camera. We see the ones that are on trail cameras because the animal has triggered the photo or the video. Maybe these orbs are all around us. This cool footage caught on a farmer's trail camera shows a fox enjoying his front row seat to a badger fight. The badgers appear unaware that the fox is even there, 
They're so caught up in their tussle. And the fox seems intent on watching the brawl and no intention of moving. This is some of the most up close and personal cam footage we have seen. And it's unique moments like this that make trail cameras so awesome. The encounter also shows how the apparent personalities of animals can be when they are caught in candid moments like these. The encounter also shows the personalities of different animals, especially when they are caught in candid moments like these. This is a pretty scary encounter caught on camera here. A 20-something daughter was house-sitting for her parents when they went out of town. Their house is in the woods with not many neighbors, but also not completely desolate. Nevertheless, they installed cameras for when their daughter isn't available to house sit, a few outside and one in the home. On the second day the daughter was there while she was out working, after her shift she noticed she had some missed calls from her mom, and later a text message. Well, the text message was actually a video. And here's what it showed. Out of nowhere, a huge black bear jumps down into the living room, which is completely insane. He looks so comfortable. And even when he puts his paws on the piano and it makes a noise, he isn't even startled. Listen to this. He didn't flinch or anything. He didn't get scared from the huge noise that it made or anything. The bear didn't even flinch or get scared from the noise. No one could believe it was real. However, the daughter did begin to realize that if she had been home only 20 minutes earlier, she could have walked in and the bear could have been there. Seeing the video really made it hit home to her about how dangerous this situation really was. The American black bear can weigh up to 550 pounds and may attack if surprised. They might not necessarily seek out confrontation, but if he felt startled and trapped and viewed her as a threat, things could have ended very badly. Man, what a crazy video. Seriously, what if she would have been home, relaxing on the couch or taking a midday nap? It's a scary thought to think about, but I'm just glad everyone is okay. On August 16th of 2021, Reddit user Typhius Oz shared a photograph captured on a remote property in Sweden, depicting a strange black figure standing near a feeding station. The figure appears to be oblong in shape with small legs and feet. While several additional images of the area were shared by the uploader to show it in both daylight and at night, none of those photos featured the mysterious black shape. The figure has prompted speculation from many, with some suggesting it could be Pesta, a deadly icon from Scandinavian folklore. Pesta is often depicted as a haggard old woman dressed in black, carrying a broom or rake. She roams the countryside spreading disease and death. While it seems unlikely that the figure in the trail cam photo is Pesta, as the typical depiction of Pesta is an old woman. The photo remains a mystery and has people both fascinated and terrified of the unknown. Michael has compiled almost 45 minutes of video into this clip and I suggest you go check out his channel and watch it. I only pulled a few pieces that I thought were interesting, but you can see all sorts of animals. Deer, squirrels, hogs, armadillos, coyotes, possums, birds, etc. We featured him on this channel before and he has awesome footage.
It really is just incredible to see how many different animals frequent this wallowing hole. It's fascinating. They all come at different times too. Anyhow, check his channel out. He has an amazing spot right here. This is an incredible video taken in the dead of winter. And it is probably one of the most unusual fights I've ever seen. It's pretty easy to make out the big buck, but the thing attacking it is a wolverine. Look at that wolverine jump and latch onto the deer. I mean, it's incredible. You can see the deer trying to shake him off, using his hooves to pry him down. I'm blown away by the aggression of this wolverine. Yeah, I've seen the movies, but this guy is on another level. Wolverines are omnivorous, eating plants and animals. They regularly feed on birds, rodents, and the like. In the winter, when food is more scarce, they'll scavenge from moose and elk kills, and they've even been known to steal from bears and wolves. It doesn't look like there's much to eat here in this harsh winter, so this guy seems to have taken matters into his own hands, and he's determined to take this buck down. The uploader posted that the wolverine eventually gave up and the deer ran off. And so did he. He didn't want anything that the wolverine was offering. In this clip, taken from a wildlife cam, we see the instance a bald eagle swipes three osprey from the safety of their nest. The owner reported that the mother and father are usually very close by and had left the nest only minutes before this took place. Just another highlight of how brutal the animal kingdom really is. I recently shared a photo from a trail camera. It was a picture of a coyote that had stolen a trail camera. Well, I think I might have found the lost footage. If not, we still get to see what it most likely looked like. Check this out. Okay, so this next clip is very, very strange. I'm going to play a piece from the original video where he gives his take on what happened, and then we'll watch the actual footage. Call the deer tame. Call it whatever. It's clearly focused on something to the left. What is happening to the left? No clue. But we have heard plenty of encounters where deer have gone to a hunter in what seems to be an attempt at finding protection from a cryptid that the hunter has yet to see. There have been many stories about deer running up to people and seemingly being scared and exhausted fleeing from something. As the deer enter our site, you can see the deer in the background are absolutely focused in on something to the man's left. They are intently watching. The man calls out, makes a noise, breaking the deer from their trance, and they notice him. Now look at what happens next. The deer start moving around, then one of them heads right over to the man. You can see as the man puts his gun up because, well, he doesn't know what the deer might do. This is one of the most off the wall things for a wild animal to do. The man even pets the deer and starts to laugh. All the while, the deer is locked into something on the left of the screen. What's going on over there? I wish we could see the area that they were looking at to see if we could see anything. Now, the person who wrote the transcript at the beginning of the video was adamant that this was not a big cat. But I'm not so sure. I think it could have definitely been a big cat. He declares no deer could hear a big cat on the hunt. Well, that's probably true most of the time, but big cats are heavy. They aren't totally silent. They have to walk. I do, however, agree with him that it could easily be a cryptid of some type. Animals are known to do some strange things when in the company of cryptids. 
this deer acted completely out of the norm. And as was mentioned, the deer sought refuge from a hunter with a gun opposed to whatever else was out there. That's significant. Another possibility, and this is a growing problem in the United States, is CWD, chronic wasting disease. This is a disease that affects deer, elk, moose, etc. It's a neurological disease and makes the infected do some weird things. In the area where CWD has popped up most, these people have started to call them zombie deer. I actually did a video clip months ago of an infected deer and it was pretty creepy. Anyhow, I'm extremely interested in what you guys think about all of this. Any and all ideas of what had the deer's attention, a big cat or a big foot, and also, what's up with the deer walking straight up to the guy? Man, I'm interested if anyone has had any experience with something like this. Similar to a video I posted a few weeks ago, we see some amazing acrobatics from another big cat. On safari, a couple took this amazing video of a leopard chasing a monkey up a tree. And as a last ditch effort, she does a backflip and snatches the monkey, falling out of the tree as she secures the prey. Let's watch the backflip again in slow motion. Just incredible athleticism. Taken in Colorado, the submitter of our next clip explains that the land that backs to his property is chocked full of wildlife. And I think we're going to get a good look at that. For that reason, the owner has his camera at the ready at all times. And one day, he spots some bear cubs that have climbed up one of his trees. And seemingly out of nowhere, a baby fawn just jumps over the fence and shows up. The fawn notices the bear cubs and goes over to investigate. However, unfortunately for the fawn, Mama Bear shows up. And she's pretty happy about her luck. The bear takes off after the fawn as she tries to escape. The man even yells at the bear from his deck, trying to distract her, but to no avail. The deer takes a jump to try and clear the fence, but doesn't make it. That little misstep is going to cost big. I'll end the clip there, but the mother bear has an easy meal for her and her children. This next clip comes from a movie producer who was filming out in Arizona. I'm just going to read this as the excerpt was written. Today, we are filming again in the great state of Arizona, and we just so happen to witness a heart-wrenching encounter between a small brown bear and a moose calf. As we were filming, we heard the cries of a baby calf and rushed to see what was happening. To our horror, we saw a small bear attacking the baby. Luckily, the calf's mother was not too far away and came running to protect her baby. The mother moose was bravely kicking the bear with her hooves, scaring it up a tree. For a moment, we thought the danger was over, but you could tell the bear soon realized that the mom posed no real threat and resumed attacking the calf. The bear couldn't get all the way to the calf. The calf had hidden under a fallen tree, and luckily the tree shielded it. As the bear became more aggressive, you could tell that the mother elk had had enough and charged the bear. As the bear scampered up the tree, the calf finally stood up. Its mother quickly ran away with it, but the bear was not willing to give up that easily. We watched as the bear pursued the mother and the baby. He was determined to catch his prey and we thought he was going to, but he eventually gave up and turned around. This was a scary encounter that left us in awe of the bravery and resilience of the animal kingdom. And we're all grateful that everyone is okay and to have witnessed such a rare moment in nature and be able to share it with all of you. Man, that really was a crazy encounter. I'll be honest, I thought that calf was done for. But as we've said before, never count a mother out.
Not when it has anything to do with her babies. This next clip is both unusual and tragic. It's very unusual to see a predator and prey both dead in the wild, especially when it's clear that the predator was in pursuit of this prey. Generally, you see one of three things happen in such situations. The prey becomes the predator's meal, the prey escapes, or the prey stands its ground and the predator retreats. However, in this case, neither of these three scenarios took place, and there is no winner. Instead, the raccoon apparently ran up a tree with the coyote chasing it. Trying to get the raccoon, the coyote's paw got stuck in the trunk. Although this should have allowed the raccoon to escape, it remained in the tree out of fear of being eaten if it came down. The coyote tried to free its paw. You can see the bite marks on the tree and actually on the paw, but he couldn't. And unfortunately, both animals eventually died right there. At least, that's our theory. What do you guys think? This photo was taken only three miles away from the mystical waters of Toledo Bend Lake in Louisiana. A lot of viewers had ideas about what could be in the photo. Some thought it was a hyena, a koi wolf, or a chupacabra, while others went as far as to suggest that it could be a new species created by the government. The photo was forwarded to Dr. Jim LaCour of the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries. After further analysis and careful consideration, he determined that the creature was a mangy coyote, suffering from demodectic mange, an inherited condition caused by an immune deficiency against mange mites. These particular type of mites are not transferable to humans. All in all, it turned out that the creature was not a chupacabra, but merely a sad looking coyote with a medical condition. The news was most disappointing for those hoping for a glimpse of this mythical blood-sucking creature. Here we see the sleepy German Shepherd and his owner just relaxing on a concrete pad, assumingly at the back of their home. All of a sudden, the pooch wakes up and starts barking at his owner. The owner is too engrossed in her phone to pay him any mind, but the dog isn't giving up. He starts to pull on her dress, and he keeps doing it. You can see the lady is getting annoyed with the dog's persistence, but as he pulls her away from her seat, we see a big branch fall right down on the spot she was sitting. Well, she seems appreciative now. Glad she's safe. I truly believe that animals have a sense humans don't. Or maybe some of us just don't tap into it. For this next clip, I'm a little bewildered. I'm not sure what to think of this. I'm not sure if this is just a glitch, clever camera work, or if these really are supernatural beings caught on camera. They don't move or walk as a human would, and the trail of uh, wispy fog behind them that adds another level of creepiness. I guess this could be some type of double exposure or something, but none of the surrounding footage seems to be affected. The two figures seem to be lurching forward with a little hitch in their steps even if it is some type of camera glitch. Who, or whatever it is, is moving very strangely. And yeah, this would be very creepy to find on your security footage. Let me know what you all think this could be. If it is something just normal, then what is it? Both the lynx and the coyote are native carnivorous species that coexist in North America. As they share habitats, there are occasional conflicts between them, mostly caused by competition for resources, especially food. In this video clip, a lynx is seen trying to take over a coyote's kill, which is a common tactic known as poaching. However, these two have been at it for over a week. They keep fighting and tussling. Every time the coyote comes back to the carcass, the lynx is there to greet him so to speak. You can see as they flip and flail all over the ground. The lynx is tough, but the coyote stands its ground and refuses to back down, forcing the lynx to eventually back off. 
Now, these two are probably pretty evenly matched if they had to really hash it out physically, but it doesn't look like it's really going to come to all that. Such interactions are typical in the forest where animals compete for limited resources. I love witnessing these events. It provides great insight into the intricate dynamics of the natural world. This next clip shows my beloved mountain lion in a pretty tough predicament. As you can see, a pack of hunting dogs has her pinned under what looks like to be a bridge of some sort. You can see the water in the background. The dogs can't get to her, so all they can do is bark. You can tell they have GPS tracking collars. I'd be interested if they were actually hunting this lion, or if they were hunting something else, and this just got their attention. Let's go through a little scenario. It's the dead of night, absolute darkness. The sound of snow crunching catches your attention. You cautiously emerge from your tent and are greeted by almost two dozen glinting eyes staring back at you. This is what a man's trail camera captured in the Canadian wilderness. With the wolves focused on the ground, it's evident that they are tracking a scent. Despite the motion sensor light going off, this pack of wolves remains unfazed, and their steely composure is a little unnerving. What are we doing here, folks? Do we just sit and watch? I think that's all we can do. In this next video, a man has stopped on the side of the road to film a moose when he notices something off to his left. The moose is obliviously standing there and the rake is on the left side of your screen. A rake is a type of cryptid that is said to resemble a hairless canine with an elongated body and limbs. The creature is usually described as being very fast and agile with sharp claws and teeth. The name rake may have originated from the creature's alleged habit of using its claws to rake or scratch at the ground or trees. Reports of the rake are often associated with sightings of Bigfoot or other mysterious creatures. Researchers have speculated that the rake may be a type of genetic mutation or a new species that is yet to be formally identified and classified by science. What do you guys think he's doing out there? This clip shows quite the mismatch here, as a coyote has wandered onto a residential porch where he meets the family cat. Despite being only half the size of the coyote, this spirited cat is not backing down. It's ironic the saying scaredy cat because a lot of the cats we see here aren't scared of these much larger predators. When the cat realized his luck might be running out, he scampered up the post near the roof and waited there till his owners came and got him. This next video takes place in Torreya State Park in Florida in 2012. Stacy Brown Jr. and his father were camping when they heard some strange noises. They decided to investigate. Stacy Sr. takes out his night vision camera and points it out into the darkness and what he saw sent shivers down his spine. A massive creature with enormous hands and feet. The video shows footage of the creature captured on the night vision camera. Stacy Sr. is a former army ranger, a seasoned combat veteran, and he decides he's getting the heck out of Dodge. Stacy knows he and his son are out there in the middle of nowhere. And if things start going sideways, no one is coming to save them. Stacy went on to say that he's been in some scary situations, but none of them compare at all to this. Now, the authenticity of this footage is questioned by some, with a biologist saying she would be willing to bet that this was just a man in a hairy suit. But another image analyst was quick to point out that the heat signature is consistent with a naked creature. 
The Browns try to determine the size of the creature by retracing its steps and measuring its stride. They estimate it to be a little over six feet tall with a very large stride. Let me know what you guys think about this potential encounter. My two cents is the guys seem believable, Stacy Sr. and Stacy Jr. But at the end of the day, you never know anyone's motives. So I want to know what you all think of this. Let me know in the comments. Coyotes are opportunistic predators that are capable of hunting a wide range of prey, from small rodents to large mammals. They are known for their adaptability and versatility in hunting, which allows them to survive in a variety of environments. Coyotes are primarily nocturnal hunters, although they may also hunt during the day. They use their keen sense of smell, hearing, and sight to locate prey. In regards to raccoons, they are not a primary prey species for the coyote. However, raccoons are generally more active at night when coyotes hunt, and it makes them a little more vulnerable to coyote attacks. And while this video looked like the raccoons were done for, the owner was happy to post that all the raccoons survived. Now, our next video claims to catch multiple Sasquatch vocalizations. Now, let's take a listen to what was recorded. I'm no Bigfoot expert, so I don't really know what it would take to authenticate this. Pretty cool nonetheless. The segment is 12 minutes long, and I'll link it in the description for those that want to watch the whole thing. Our next clip is pretty incredible. This is Max, and he's up against a battle in his own backyard. As you can see, little old Max is surrounded by three coyotes on the turf of his Highland Park, California home. You see him standing his ground as the coyotes attempt to move in. The coyotes are very interested in snatching this cat and making a meal out of him, but Max isn't having it. He's actually a pretty big cat. No match for three coyotes, but don't tell him that. Max's owner explained that she and her husband were watching a movie when she caught something out of the corner of her eye. When she got up to check, Max was fending off the three coyotes. Very impressive. This story is a good testament to sometimes needing to bring the fight to the aggressor. Bring the fight to the bully. Show some courage and step up to the danger when they think you're going to fold. Anyhow... Awesome camera footage and story, and we're glad Max is okay. A very inside look into the animal kingdom here. This mother bald eagle was perched on her nest when she noticed something and flew away to check it out. Upon returning to the nest, an unknown adult eagle followed her and landed on the tall perch, merely feet away, and he just sat there. Mama Eagle threw out some warning calls and then went to keep her eggs warm, all the while continuing to give off warnings as the intruder dropped down closer to the nest. After staying on that perch for over 17 minutes, the intruder attempted to enter the nest, prompting Mama to get up and wing slap the intruder, chasing him from the nest. The unwanted eagle kept returning, but she persistently gave off warning calls and fought him off. Eventually, the intruder figured it probably wasn't worth it and flew away. 
This hunter captured a rare albino turkey on his trail camera. The man said he's lived in the same area for 20 plus years and never seen one. Albino turkeys are considered to be relatively rare compared to other breeds of domesticated turkeys. While there's no exact number available, it is estimated that only a small percentage of turkeys are born with this genetic mutation. They have all the same physical characteristics and behavior as other breeds of turkey, but obviously their white feathers make them stand out. In the wild, albino turkeys are at a disadvantage because their lack of coloration makes them more visible to predators and hunters. Nevertheless, really cool trail cam footage. This still pick is just a really ironic and funny photo all around. A trail camera capturing footage of a coyote carrying a trail camera in its mouth. Good stuff right there. I'm hopeful the owner was able to find the stolen trail cam and get the footage off of it. Talk about a front row seat to the wildlife world. This clip was taken from a farm where, you probably won't believe it, but these deer and raccoons normally interact and are quite peaceful. But as this eight point buck stumbled upon a group of chubby raccoons stealing his corn, he was pretty annoyed. And he was determined not to let any of them get away with it. As he loudly grunts, he pushes them out of the way and claims the pile of corn for himself. The farmer suspects the deer was just amped up, because like I mentioned, these guys usually interact quite well. I guess it turns out bucks don't like to share when they're looking to bulk up for the upcoming rut. Despite the buck's aggressive display, the raccoons were undeterred and continued to try and get in on the free meal, which, as anyone who has seen them diving into dumpsters for dinner can attest. But I'll leave you with this warning. It serves as a reminder of the intolerance of some male deer when they are pumped full of testosterone during the rut. Recently, in a park in North Carolina, they attacked a dog and even a person, so it's important to keep your distance during this time. This next clip is more on the extraterrestrial paranormal experience side. Because on this particular night, something really strange occurred on a property. It was a peaceful evening with stars shining brightly in the sky. Until the homeowners noticed a bizarre light beaming from the left side of their front porch camera, which went on for hours. It's unclear what this haunting light could be, but it certainly doesn't seem natural. Is it just a malfunctioning light somewhere, maybe from a stadium? Or could it be a sign of an alien visitor? When the footage was shared on Reddit, most online commentators leaned towards the latter. In recent years, the US government has taken UFO sightings more seriously, and a new report reveals that US troops have reported hundreds of sightings across the country. In fact, the US National Intelligence Office is now aware of 510 reported sightings which is over a hundred more than the previous year. But despite the increase in UFO sightings, we still have no explanation for what they might be or where they are coming from. Could these lights be evidence of alien life? We can only speculate, but one thing is for sure, it's an exciting time to be alive. Are you a believer? Let me know in the comments. A couple traveling down a highway noticed a coyote just barking in the middle of the road. They figured, ah, what the heck, we'll stop and take some video. And this is what they caught. Look at how huge that mountain lion is. Wow. I'm just going to leave it at that. If you've been following my channel for any time at all, you know how I feel about these magnificent creatures. Anyhow, the coyote is pretty upset about this lion, but eventually leaves him be and heads off down the road. In this clip from last year, we see a fox climbing a tree. Yeah. Now, I didn't even know they could climb trees. Sure, I thought they might be able to shimmy themselves up a tree. Maybe that tree was on an angle or use the branches to step and pull their way up. But that's not what's happening here. 
This guy's running straight up this tree. I did a little digging and pulled this quote offline. And when asked the question if foxes can climb trees, the wildlife specialist says, quote, Yes, foxes are able to climb trees. While they are primarily ground-dwelling animals, they have been observed climbing trees to escape predators or to reach prey such as birds or squirrels. Foxes have sharp claws that allow them to grip onto the bark of trees, and their light weight and nimble bodies make them well suited for climbing. However, they are not as adept at climbing trees as some other animals, like squirrels or monkeys." End quote. A few videos back, I posted coyotes climbing trees. Check that one out if you haven't seen it. But this is also very impressive. This heartwarming incident reminds us that passion and kindness still exist in this world, despite all the negativity and chaos. The guardian angel in this story could have easily just looked the other way, but instead, he heard the deer's distress and chose to help out and guide the deer to safety. A good reminder about the power of empathy and the impact that even small acts of kindness can do. A dehydrated leopard found itself in a dire situation when it got its head stuck in a metal vessel of some sort. In an attempt to free itself, he actually made it worse. The leopard struggled, but unfortunately, it was too disoriented. As it wandered aimlessly, it stumbled upon a busy road where it sat helplessly, hoping for someone to come to its rescue. Luckily, some compassionate passerbys noticed the leopard and quickly alerted wildlife rescuers. The rescue team arrived promptly and cautiously approached the distressed animal. Despite being scared and in pain, the leopard remained calm and allowed the rescuers to handle it with care. After a successful rescue, the leopard was released back into the wild. In harsh winter conditions, animals not adapted to survive can struggle to find food and navigate this frozen terrain. This lone deer was left behind. He was attempting to cross the frozen river for survival, but didn't make it. Luckily, local workers rescued him just in time, and now he's receiving the care he needs. Just an amazing camera capture. Upon witnessing a colt trapped in the muddy terrain, the group of fishermen quickly took action to offer their assistance. However, moving the 30 kilogram animal would prove to be a challenging task. Although it was hard, the fishermen persevered and employed all their strength and skills to successfully reunite the calf with its mother. This next clip shows amazing footage of a cougar attacking a deer on a trail camera. It's amazing how stealthy they can be. You see the deer jumped and tried to break free, but that's not going to happen. The homeowner reported that the cougar came for three days and ate off the kill. On the fourth day, however... Two bears showed up and dragged what was left away. Great footage to catch on a trail camera. In this clip, we see a lynx that has been brought to the area by the smell of frozen remains of a northern deer. He sniffs around and eventually locates them under a nearby tree. The only problem with this is that this kill seems to have already been spoken for. Resting in an adjacent tree is, I mean, it looks like a bobcat. They're distant cousins, but even a good sized bobcat is dwarfed by the size of this lynx. I've said this before, but except for mountain lions, people living in the United States, we don't face the threat of being attacked by these enormous, frightening, large cats, such as lions and tigers. The potential man-eaters, so to speak. Of course, mountain lions can do that, but there have been cases of people surviving and even killing mountain lions during attacks. But I digress. This next clip doesn't feature any people, but we do get to see a Bengal tiger in action. 
These wild gowers that roam the countryside are the perfect home run takedown to provide a lot of meat for this tiger to eat. And very quickly in the video we see something strange. The male gower flips the female gower over and off her feet with his powerful horns, all but freely offering her up to the tiger, sort of looking like he was saving himself and sacrificing her. We've seen similar behavior in another video I made when a pack of wolves were attacking a herd of buffalo. Experts will tell you that it would be highly unlikely that the male would sacrifice the female gower to save himself. Herd animals, and male gowers specifically, are highly protective of their herd. In fact, gower bulls are known to be highly aggressive towards predators and have been observed to actively chase and attack tigers and other large carnivores to protect their herd. However, in some rare cases where a gower is unable to fend off a predator and is at risk of being killed, it may attempt to flee and leave behind weaker members of the herd. I don't believe what we are witnessing would be considered a deliberate sacrifice, but more rather a survival instinct. At least that makes me feel a little better about this interaction. However, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Before this video was triggered, off camera, this owl swooped down and procured himself a nice little field mouse and is on his way back to his nest in an adjacent tree. But all of a sudden, two falcons rush in, like the Secret Service, and corral him to the ground. The outnumbered owl tries to stand up for himself and puts up a fight, but I think he smartly realized he was outmatched and at a significant size disadvantage, not to mention two on one. The Falcons calmly wait for him to give up. Then they gather his kill, pick it up, and carry it off to enjoy. Captured in this astonishing CCTV footage, we see a peaceful street with a few cars parked on the side of the road, However, out of nowhere, things quickly take an unexpected turn. Highlighted, you can see that a fish falls out of the sky and lands straight onto one of the vehicles. The impact is so loud that it grabs the attention of one of the neighbors, and a curious woman comes over to investigate. This is pretty crazy. What could this be? I mean, it really could only be a hawk or a falcon carrying this fish, right? And then it drops it? I'd be all ears if anyone else had any other explanations. The entire scene is quite comical and leaves everyone perplexed. According to statistics provided by the Wildlife Federation, cougars end up with the upper hand in almost all confrontations against predators or prey of equal size. They either come away with the kill or they don't back down from their opponents. As you see here, the cougar and the bear are sizing each other up. The bear is much bigger, but the cougar has a strong bite and is capable of doing some damage. The bear is much bigger it's clear that the cougar is not afraid of him. As the bear approaches the cougar cubs, the mother rushes to their aid. She immediately drives away the big pawed predator, checking on her little ones. She was able to scare the frightened bear up a tree. In another moment of this encounter, you can see the bear standing up on its hind legs, trying to make itself look bigger. But as the cougar swats and scratches, the bear figures he might as well just cut his losses and quickly runs away. This next clip is pretty strange if I do say so myself. A bystander films the moment a young buck became wedged under a vehicle on a major highway in the city. 
The filmer said the deer was running full speed trying to cross the road and slid on its hooves and got stuck under this man's SUV. Luckily, he and another kind man slowly jacked the vehicle up and the deer was able to pull itself out. The deer seemed pretty unfazed. Once he's freed, you can see him, just kind of looking around, standing around, until he eventually ran off safely. Pretty crazy thing to catch on camera. As we all know, sloths are, well, they're sluggish creatures. They typically spend their entire life high up in trees. Unfortunately, one such sloth found itself in a precarious situation when it was spotted by a hungry cougar. The big cat attempted to climb up the tree, but the trunk slippery surface made the climb a difficult one. Even though he had tried multiple times, the hungry cougar refused to give up and actually went to sharpen its claws to improve its grip on the tree. Amazingly, the tactic worked and he was able to reach the sloth and pull him down from the tree. In a creepy video caught on camera, a gentleman explains that around 2 a.m. he gets a notification on his phone. Apparently his camera has picked up movement outside his house, more specifically near his pool. He thought he might have some late night visitors trying to take a dip. He pulls up the footage on his phone and watches it a few times thinking his eyes are playing tricks on him. He screen recorded it and zoomed in and it appears a potential ghostly figure can be seen. The figure runs through his yard and into his neighbor's yard. Check out what he found. What do you guys think of this footage? Is it just a person running down the sidewalk or through the yards? One viewer mentioned it could be a spider spinning a web in front of the camera, causing the appearance of something bigger in the distance. Could it really be a ghost? The man explains his home has experienced some unexplainable activity as well. He mentioned that while he's at work, his indoor cameras had picked up movement every day at the same exact time in his daughter's room, even though no one was home. Could this apparition be the ghost of a child that wants to play in the pool or with his daughter's toys? Let me know what you all think. In this next clip, Squatch Watchers is on site to examine a creature that was photographed by Joe Hunt. This photograph was taken from a hunting area that Joe has hunted in for 15 years. And he just can't explain what it is. David and Taylor travel to interview the man and they believe the creature could be a Sasquatch even mentioning that they have captured thermal footage of a similar creature in the same area while they were on a hunt. Although some viewers that have seen the photo claim that it might be a bear, many, many others are convinced that it is not. A man named Delbert is introduced. He's another hunter from the area that has hunted these parts since he was 11 years old. And all he can come up with is that this creature is a primate based on the joint in its foot. He doesn't believe that this creature could be a hoax because it would be way too dangerous to dress up as an ape in this hot weather. 
and in an area that is well known for its hunting. The foursome definitely agrees it is not a bull elk or a bear or a rogue domestic cow. Here's the picture that Joe Hunt captured. Furthermore, Delbert reveals that he was a non-believer in Bigfoot for his entire life until he saw Joe's picture. He's convinced now. And Joe, the photographer of the creature, seems to be open-minded about the creature's identity, stating that it's up to them to decide what it is. He's not married to it being a Bigfoot. He just doesn't know what it is. The group goes on to discuss the location where Joe captured the picture, which used to be privately owned but is now part of the South Mountain State Park. Squatch Watchers knows this place very well. Their team have been to this area before and believe that it could be a hot spot for Bigfoot sightings. So what do you guys think about this creature in the photo? I'd be interested. It definitely does not look like something native to the area. I can't place it. The longer hair and of course the jointed feet that the guys mentioned are two pretty sturdy clues. As most people I'm sure, I always like to hear from the person involved in the encounter. It allows you to get a good sense of their demeanor, their personality. Do they seem like they're hungry or starved for attention? or genuinely interested in getting to the bottom of what the creature is, no matter what. In my opinion, I think Joe falls into the latter category. Anyhow, let me know your thoughts, and go check out this video on Squatch Watchers. The guys dive more deeply into it, and give some convincing arguments. Nevertheless, an awesome trail cam capture. This is pretty creepy footage out of West Virginia. Now before anyone tries to say this is an alien or something, I'm pretty sure it's just a spider's legs. At first I thought it might have been whiskers of an animal, but I'm going with the spider theory. Let's watch it again and let me know what you think. These next clips are really fascinating. They've come from an awesome channel named the Ocho Verde Wildlife Channel, and they show amazing trail camera footage from the rainforest. which I find particularly interesting being from the United States, we don't get to see any of these animals. The anteater is probably my favorite. What a strange animal. Anyhow, let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. And check this guy's channel out, it is amazing.
This incredible video showcases an epic battle between some wolves and a giant black bear. The wolves have a den nearby and they're protecting their precious little pups. The pups are only a few weeks old, but the powerful pack instinct of the wolves to keep them safe is on full display. Despite the bear's imposing size, it realizes that it's not worth it to go against this fiercely protective family. This was a great camera capture. It's actually shot from multiple angles, so you can capture the full viewing experience. This is a pretty crazy video here. A hawk has dive-bombed a makeshift chicken coop looking to score an easy meal. After things don't go as planned, the hawk tries to abort the mission, but he's stuck. He can't seem to get out of the enclosure, and the roosters are on him. They're determined to make it pay. They chase him into the hen house, where they ultimately go out of camera view. Man, those roosters were not intimidated at all. I really, really wonder what the end result of this was. A person exploring the forest of Amherst took a video, and it was a little disturbing. They walked upon a structure made of branches in the middle of the forest. At first glance, one might think it was made by kids playing, or even just a person seeking shelter for the night. However, upon closer inspection, the person recording the video noticed small twigs tied up in different formations, as if someone had been trying to create strange symbols. What do you guys make of these? I don't know enough about them to know if they're satanic. But what's even scarier is at the end of the video. The recording captures someone running away in the woods. Of course, the recorder didn't pursue them. Anyhow, the rumor has it that Amherst has a history of rituals and strange sightings. What do you guys think? In this scene, a female elk bravely defends her calf against a pack of wolves in the water. The pack of wolves are using cunning tactics to engage in a struggle with the female elk. To avoid the wolf pack, the mama elk takes the initiative and jumps into the river with her calf. At first, the female elk relies on her size and strength, not necessarily taking the wolf pack seriously. Although she doesn't have the large antlers of a male elk, her powerful limbs are also effective weapons. A kick from her could cause a lot of damage, and even be fatal. While she's trying to fend them off and protect herself, her most important priority is keeping her calf safe, who is the true target of the wolf pack. At this point, the wolf pack has begun to wade into the water towards the elk and her calf. The mother elk takes the attack to the wolf pack to protect her calf. The wolf pack begins to use their tactics on the elk. Their strategy of retreating when the enemy advances and attacking when the enemy is vulnerable. They constantly harass and pursue her. Through years of hunting experience, the pack's coordination is impressive. You can see as they take turns attacking, not giving the mama elk any chance to catch her breath. She's becoming exhausted, her physical and mental strength are draining. She even forgets about her calf for a moment. Seizing the opportunity, the wolf pack pounces on the calf, ready to bite. Fortunately, at the last minute, the female elk steps in. Although the wolf pack has strength in numbers, and that's a big advantage, they still do not dare confront the female elk head on. No one wants to be kicked by her. But they also cannot give up their prey. They adjust their strategy once again. We can see the female elk is infuriated and launches a powerful attack on the wolf pack, causing them to scatter. However, blinded by this rage, she makes a huge mistake while driving away the wolf pack. Her calf cannot keep up with her footsteps and the wolf pack sees an opportunity to attack. And wave after wave of wolves keep coming. The female elk has no time to rest. Facing such organized and disciplined strong wild wolves, it is almost impossible to escape. Finally, the wolf pack sees the opportunity and takes the calf. The mother wants to rescue her child, but she's missed the best time. She can only watch as her calf is dragged ashore by the wolf pack. Another harsh, cruel reality of the animal kingdom.
I stumbled upon this video and read the comments, and a few viewers I encountered thought this was pretty funny. However, I have a feeling the Wolverine didn't see it that way. A man living out in the wild in Russia caught this video of a Wolverine with a bucket on its head being chased by a hungry wolf. Now I've shown some videos recently of Wolverines and I think we can all agree they are nothing to mess with. But the wolf just can't help himself. He sees that the Wolverine is at a distinct disadvantage and he's ready to make him a meal. The Wolverine does a pretty good job staving off the wolf considering he can't even see. The camera operator did say that the wolf tried to attack the Wolverine a little more aggressively, but eventually the Wolverine shook the bucket off his head and he was able to defend himself now. Both of them ultimately went their separate ways. Here's some really interesting footage. This deer passing by triggers this motion trail camera, but that's not the end of it. Take a look at what else the camera captured. In the background, you can see a strange, tall, column-like object passing by very quickly behind the deer's back. It was so fast that the deer barely had any time to react, except to look scared in its direction. I'm not quite sure what that thing was. The owner of the video jokingly suggested that it might be a pile of rocks walking by, but that's definitely not what it is. Anyhow, I'm just as baffled as you are. If it was just a glitch, then why did the deer react so strongly to it? If it were a glitch, he wouldn't even notice. Anyhow, I'll keep you updated if I find out more. I'm just going to let this video of this Black Panther and Leopard play, but I'm curious who you think would win in a fight. Let me know in the comments. I'm going to issue a warning. Some people might not like the next video clip. Now, I've seen this video a few times and I really wasn't sure if I should put it in. However, when you break it down, it's really a story of never giving up, of grit, of determination, and it's less about the attack. So on this outdoor camera, you see this squirrel just enjoying some food when all of a sudden, boom, the hawk swoops in and snatches this unexpecting squirrel. It looks like his days are numbered, but watch what happens. The squirrel is able to somehow break free and the hawk flings him. Unreal. The squirrel walked away, and honestly, I wasn't thinking he would survive. But a few days later, look who it is. Mr. Squirrel, back at the same spot. And look on his body. He's wearing the battle scars proudly. As we rewind and watch the part where the hawk flings the squirrel off to the side, what do you guys think happened? The squirrel had to have bitten him. That's all I can think of. Great camera capture. Let me know what you guys think. This next clip is very interesting and not something I necessarily knew that happened. As you can see, a bear has acquired a moose carcass. Whether he killed it or found it, I don't know. 
You can see him trying to bury it next to this stream while a few wolves stand by salivating. The bear grabs the disturbed earth trying to cover him up. When he thinks he's done a good enough job, he heads off. Clearly that was not a good enough job because the wolves quickly moved the dirt off and had a feast. When they were finished, it was the vulture's turn and they destroyed it, eventually pulling and prying and dragging it into the stream. Just a great camera capture. CCTV footage taken at night in the dead of winter shows a moose pretty close to this home. The homeowner had just left for work when he received a notification on his phone that the door surveillance camera had captured something. To his surprise, he just saw a big old moose standing there in his driveway. Anyhow, he went back to work. But as we can all see, the moose shakes his head vigorously and suddenly both of his antlers fall right off. The falling antler startled the moose and he took off. Hours later, the homeowner returned and found the shed lying in the snow on his driveway. He kind of laughed and thought, I wonder if that guy was abducted by aliens. Nevertheless, he couldn't believe his luck. He brought him inside, soaked him, and cleaned him. After a while, he reviewed the surveillance footage, and he got the chance to watch the moose shed those antlers right in front of his house. The man loved his new trophy and just felt grateful for the unexpected gift from nature. I wish I had more backstory on this capture, but what's about to happen is pretty nutty. These chicks are in a cage staying warm from that heat lamp, when out of nowhere, this huge hawk shows up. He flew in from the outside and snatches one of the chicks. It's crazy. The owner said that he edited the video because it was pretty long, but about an hour later, the hawk showed back up and tried again. And you can see the hawk circling the cage. The man said that he did this for a while. Thankfully, he was unsuccessful. But man, these birds of prey, they are savages. Taken in the Philippines, this is a pretty funny video right here. You can see this little pup trying to break up a fight between these roosters. He better watch out. An incredible video taken in Canada where a man and his friend walk up on a deer that has been frozen to death. The man pokes the deer with his rifle just to make sure. Whoa, I guess he's alive. So that deer is just sleeping in the field, covered in snow. The only distinguishable thing were his antlers. Man, he looked like he was sleeping hard too. Canadian deer must just be built different. Let me know about this. I know deer pick a spot and bed down. I've seen that many, many times. But I don't think I've ever seen them sleeping in the middle of the field with no surrounding protection from people or the elements. I'm curious to hear anyone's thoughts about this. This clip is just a pretty cool one to me. Training hunting dogs is big where I come from. The instructor has laid out some raw meat in a line and then funnels her dog out to the courtyard where they face it head on. Watch as all the dogs line up and obey her, not touching the meat, except for that one little guy with the arrow over his head. He can't help it. He's the class clown. She gives the command for them to eat and they go wild. Look at the mayhem. Awesome command and control by the trainer and willpower of the dogs. Watch it a few times and each time pick a different dog to watch. It's pretty funny. Even the ones that come in at the end. <laughs> 